those victims of trafficking the ability to go after these organizations and venues that are profiting from their pain. That's Florida's Attorney General and Governor Ron DeSantis joining her saying today the state will use every resource to crack down on human trafficking. The governor signed off on a series of bills that he says will protect victims and increase penalties for human smugglers. News Channel East Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean is in Tallahassee with the details. There were four bills that the governor signed into law today and he says that altogether these will combat human trafficking in the state. Florida currently ranks third for the most human trafficking cases in the nation. Wednesday, the governor saying it's time to change that. I mean, I'm here to say that Florida, uh, we want to use every resource at our disposal uh, to put human traffickers out of business and into jail. DeSantis signed off on four pieces of legislation that enforce stricter penalties on human traffickers and give victims more tools to seek justice. One of those tools creates a legal pathway for victims to sue adult entertainment companies for damages if they facilitated the abuse. We will continue to work diligently until there's not a single human trafficking victim here in the state of Florida. Plus, new provisions increasing the minimum sentence for a human trafficker who uses a firearm while committing the crime. So if you violently force victims into trafficking in this state, uh, you are going to uh, pay a very, very stiff penalty. The governor also taking swings at the Biden administration administration, saying inaction at the border is exacerbating the human trafficking crisis in Florida. This border policy of the Biden administration uh, has um, wrought huge, huge damage uh, to society. While Democrats say the border is a bipartisan issue, they too support the goals of these bills. Senate Minority Leader Lauren Book released a statement praising the new laws, saying she's proud to combat the horrific realities of human trafficking, a crime which takes place hidden in plain sight in every single community across the state. Now, some of these bills will go into effect in July, while others come online in October. That's all from the Capitol. I'm Libby Dean, 8 on your side.